Hello, welcome to our ReachLaw talk on 2022 key drivers. I'm going to address the revision of the EU's REACH regulation on chemicals. The REACH revision could have a significant impact on industries. My name is Tim Becker. I'm a German qualified lawyer and senior legal advisor with REACH Law Limited. I've been with the company for more than 10 years. My main expertise is in the area of REACH and related EU legislation, such as the Waste Framework Directive and SCIP database. So as part of this talk, I will first explain why a REACH revision was initiated. Then I will provide a recap of what happened on this issue during last year. Third, I will set out the current state of play and what companies can expect for this year. And finally, I will highlight the proposed actions during 2022 for companies affected by this revision. So why was the REACH regulation revision initiated? It was actually announced in the Chemical Strategy for Sustainability, the so-called CSS. The CSS was published by the European Commission in October 2020. It is part of the EU's zero pollution ambition, which is a key commitment of the European Green Deal. The REACH revision is aimed to be targeted to achieving the objectives of the CSS. Key objectives in this regard are to simplify procedures to assess the risks of chemicals, to ban the most harmful chemicals in consumer products and for professional use, unless they are essential for society, and to limit the exposure to chemicals that harm hormonal systems and to toxic combination effects of chemicals, the so-called cocktail effects. With all of this, the EU wants to set the example for a toxic-free planet. So what happened in 2021 on the REACH revision issue? In the beginning of last year, the Commission launched a number of supporting actions and studies to cover the different elements of the REACH revision including all processes we know, registration, evaluation, authorization, and restrictions. Supply chain communication for chemicals through safety data sheets should also be simplified. Furthermore, the provisions for control and enforcement of REACH are planned to be revised, taking a zero tolerance approach to non-compliance. In this regard, a so-called European audit capacity is planned to be introduced with new powers for the European Commission. In May 2021, the Commission published an inception impact assessment that is a roadmap for the revision of the REACH regulation. During the four-week consultation, several hundred replies were received from industry NGOs and other stakeholders. Later in the year, the Commission initiated some studies of key interests across, across industries and for NGOs, including first, a study on the reform of the authorization and restriction procedure, and second, a study on developing an essential use concept. Regarding the reform of the authorization and restriction systems, the Commission already elaborated a detailed background paper on the identified problems and policy options how to address them. Based on this paper, workshops were held in November last year to discuss the Commission's assessment and get the feedback from member states and stakeholders from industry and NGOs. The outcome of the workshops confirmed the need for a substantial reform of the authorization and restriction processes. A principal aim is to simplify the overall system. The candidate list of substances of very high concern is likely to remain. However, its role could possibly be modified and even extended. Furthermore, Five member states already worked, uh, started working last year on a broad reach restriction proposal to phase out PFAS substances in the EU, unless their use is essential for society. 
The PFAS restriction is a key action under the CSS. It is expected to come into force even before the REACH revision will take effect. Now, uh, where are we today with the REACH revision and what can companies uh, expect for 2022? The first major event this year is the commission a three month public consultation on the REACH revision in the beginning of 2022. In parallel, the Commission will progress its studies and other activities for the REACH revision. This will include some targeted consultations and also stakeholder workshops. For example, there will be an essential use workshop at the end of February or in March. There will be also two workshops in March and June on possibilities for extending the generic approach to risk management. That is a hazard-based approach to reach restrictions beyond CMR substances and extending from consumer to professional uses. The Commission actions and studies will feed into its impact assessment, which is then due to be completed by this summer. Based on all these activities, the Commission is then planning to draft its formal proposal for the revision of REACH which it aims to adopt by the end of this year. The Commission proposal will then be forwarded to the European Parliament and the Council as the EU's co-legislators for adoption of the revision. It is important to note that further changes to the REACH legal text may still be introduced at that stage. The REACH revision is expected to be adopted in 2024 at the earliest and come into force around 2025 or a bit later. Please note that a targeted revision of the EU regulation on classification, labeling and packaging of chemical substances and mixtures, CLP, is also underway. It foresees the introduction of new hazard classes as well as improved classification and labeling requirements, among others. The Commission proposal for the CLP revision is currently planned for the second quarter of 2022. So what can or should companies affected by this revision do during 2022? First and foremost, you are invited to participate in the Commission's three-month public consultation at the beginning of this year. For this, you will have to understand the impact of the proposed changes and policy options. For example, it is not so clear today what the Commission plans on reforming the authorization and restriction process and also the new essential use concept would mean in practice and who is going to benefit from the reform. The authorities, consumers and or industry However, the planned extension of SVHC categories and hazard classes for fast track restrictions, including their extension to professional use, could mean additional substitution pressure and other constraints for businesses in the future. The envisaged possibility to revoke registration numbers in case of non-compliance dossiers could also pose new business and obsolescence risks for industry. Stricter registration requirements are also anticipated, in particular for substances at lower tonnages and for certain polymers. Depending on your role in the supply chain and your chemicals portfolio, some commission studies and activities will be more relevant for you to follow than others. It should also be noted that the REACH revision proposal might include even elements not mentioned in the CSS. Uh, an example is the definition of intermediates. You are advised to follow the Commission's website on the CSS REACH revision. It has been published at the end of last year and includes an overview of studies, actions, and timelines for the REACH revision. Also, do not miss the possibility of additional targeted consultations and workshops. 
Furthermore, companies are invited to send written contributions at any time to the Commission's functional email created for the REACH revision. So we have a work intensive year ahead with plenty of opportunities for your input during the coming months. If you need any support during the REACH revision process, feel free to get in touch with REACH law. We can help you, for example, with the assessment of impacts for your company from the REACH revision, with the elaboration of your position in response to the Commission's public and targeted consultations. We can also guide you through the complex web of the REACH revision process and monitor relevant developments which may require your action. REACH law is also planning to provide free webinars to give status updates on the CSS REACH revision and analyze the impacts of proposed changes to the EU REACH regulation. If not already done, you may sign up to our distribution list by sending an email to webinars at reachlaw.fi. With this, I want to thank you for your attention and uh, wish you good luck with your work on the upcoming REACH revision. Thank you.